Hi everyone, it's Sally, aka Crafting Gal Sal, and I'm here with my granddaughter Natalie. Hi. Hi, and we're doing um, a video today on um, one of Annie's card maker kits of the month um, to just kind of show you what came in the package in the mail to me and uh, just go through the contents and give you our ideas and, and yeah. thoughts about what it is. So, so okay, so okay. here we go. Out. So there's nothing. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is and it was just in one of these plain white bags. I mean, there's no bubble wrap or anything like that. That was so interesting. That was pretty easy to get out. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we have, can I open it? Yeah, oh yeah. So the first thing I have, with us today mm -hmm. is I have this little manual that says free tools use and care and it kind of shows you what how to use the stuff and what some of the stuff is okay yeah this uh, is included in your very first mm -hmm. kit you get this cute little pouch that, go ahead and open that says it up create it's a nice little mm -hmm. bag and then inside I have a glass Head. And this is an acrylic. It's actually an acrylic thing that you would uh, stick your clear stamps to and so do your this stamping. This is for stamping. It's an acrylic block. Mm -hmm. Just set that to the side. Okay. Then also inside I have that's a, a that's a bone folder. This is a bone folder here mm -hmm. inside and the little pouch. You use it to make real tight creases on your uh, cardstock you want to okay. fold something. Just set that uh -huh. to the side there. Okay. And then lastly inside we have a pen, a ballpoint oh. pen. And that is a piercing stylus. Okay. So I'm going to open this mm -hmm. so Go we ahead can and see it. how it works if I can find the end. Oops. Where's the end? Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to open this okay. up and inside See, it's got a real sharp tip so that, like if you're using stencils or um, if you just need to pierce your paper in some way, that's what that's for. Okay, it's so, got a nice little lid so you don't damage the piercer. And, some, and then, of course, we have the bag. Cute little bag to keep your tools in. Yeah. So their thinking is that if you're going to start making cards, and this is the first time you've ever done anything like this, these, they're saying that these are necess necessary tools to yes. make cards with. Okay. And they just gave you the cute little bag. Yeah, yeah. keep it in. All yeah. right. What's next, Natalie? Next, um, here's you yeah. that. I'm going to open this. I'm not a very neat opener. <laughs> <laughs> I just okay. rip stuff open. Just open it. I, I just want my stuff that I paid for, so just give me it now. So I'm just going to slide all this out. So, mm -hmm. first up on top, off the bat, <laughs> I have this cute little package. Mm. It's got some ribbon, some nice mm, pretty cute little ribbon. purple ribbon yeah, that, looks like that it was matches, stuck. And it's right? got these cute little, I oh. think they're like blue dots maybe, Let, or like gems. Let's open it. Let's see. Okay, let's open that it. Might be. Set that over there, and so I'm going to open this. It might be sparkles. I be like sparkles. sparkles. I like sparkles too. Yeah. So we have some ribbon, some nice mm -hmm. purple and white ribbon. Pretty. There we go. And then, what is this mystery item? Mm -hmm. thing? I think they're glue dots. Oh no, wait, it's oh. another bag. It's okay. another bag. They're like oh. hard, jemmy things. Oh, okay. Some pretty, yep. Some pretty gems. Okay, okay. that's pretty. Are they're they like plasticky? Like, yeah, they're like plasticky, like jemmy things. Okay. Alright. So that's very those. good. So I'm just going to set yeah. that on top of this bag and yeah. set that to the side. Want me to put it back in the bag? Sure. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so the next thing we have is this. That came on this. Okay. This nice piece of cardboard. And then we also have this. Those and are And it stamps. has stamps. And it says, have a sweet birthday, mm. sweet wishes, and you can never have too many sprinkles. Mm. And then it's also got a little heart. These are these are like the vinyl stamps, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. That you can put on your glass block. Right. Yeah. That you put on your glass block. Let's show how that would work. Okay. I'm gonna open these up. 
again, I wanted to say that this particular kit is called Sweet Birthday. Yes, and yes. this and this package and the one with the ribbon were just secured to a piece of cardboard. Okay. And so normally, I really love I like the font. These. Yes, I, I really, really like, like how too. that looks. And I like how it had a little, just like cute. A little extra heart. Yeah. So normally, mm -hmm. so you just take, take off. one off of there. So I'm just gonna take one of them off. Mm -hmm. Have a sweet birthday, and then I yep. flip it, mm -hmm. and then I flip it, and I put it on the center. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then when you, then you so you can see what it looks like when you go to stamp. So that way, and then you'd mm -hmm. put this in the ink, and you'd mm -hmm. get the ink, and then you'd stamp it down. Yeah, nice. And then you can just peel it off. Love it. And it's got a little bit of a sticky, but you mm -hmm. wanna. So that's why you want to make sure you put it back on so you don't get yes. rid of that stick so you right. can use it multiple times. Absolutely. So that's very important because these are pretty expensive. Yes. So you want to make sure you get your most use out of them. Really nice so far. I'm loving everything oh, so yeah. far. So and far, you know what? Really purple is one of purple, my favorite colors. Purple is my favorite color. So like we're already happy colors, about what so, we see yeah. here. I'm let's rip it in and open. let's grab this. This looks like an yeah. instruction book. Oh, there. Oh, okay. So is that the this, front? Yes. There's so, the front. Sweet birthday. So these are the cards you can make. Of mm -hmm. course, you don't have to make these cards. You mm -hmm. can make any card you want. But these are just like examples. Mm -hmm. So th that one, it shows an example of what you can do with this kit and show a card you can do. It shows you can never have too many sprinkles with the stamp. And then it shows the pieces to cut, the easy steps, and all the stuff. So I like that. I love it. And then it also has some more designs, and it's got like a pouch design, um, a simple design, and a layered design. And I like how it has the names of like mm -hmm. different cards and the steps and mm -hmm. the pieces you need. And I like how it all goes with a kit and is very like. It's very pleasing to yeah, the eye. It's very pleasing to the Looks eye. Looks like they give you good Looks instructions. Very neat and tidy. And over here, you can see what was included in the kit, so it kind of gives it, you that. And it also that. shows what you're also going to need. Mm -hmm. um, so these are things that maybe didn't come with it. Well, we did get our card toolkit. Yeah. So we would need what's. I'm upside down, so tell me what that says. Okay, so it says you'll also need a card making toolkit. Mm -hmm. Because it's our first time we have this, but if you've done this multiple <coughs> times, you would You'd already need have to grab that. that. Mm -hmm. A nickel, a ruler, pencil, scissors, or paper cutter, mm -hmm. black ink or marker, and adhesives. Okay. And so, and then you'd basically need those to make these cards. And right. so I really like how it shows what you're going to need and what you have. Love and it. And then on the back and then on the front, it's just very, looks very neat. And it I really like it does. Lot. Very nice and professional looking. Okay. Next, I have this little pouch that so, I'm going to open yep. up. What do you think's that? I think this is going to be the cards with the envelopes. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Card bases, maybe? Yeah, so we'll mm -hmm. slide that out. So Pretty. we have some envelopes, All lots right. of envelopes. How many are there? Nice. Want me to um, count them? Sure. Okay, I'll count those and you look at that Okay, stuff. these I like because you can fold them on your own. You get to fold them. They have a nice indented line and there. And that's called the score and line. The score line. And yeah, and then uh -huh. you use this to... See, it goes like that. Mm -hmm. And then you would... Let me move this out of the way. Okay. So this is how you use the bone folder. I mean, this is how I use it. And you just press down. Mm -hmm. And that way you have a nice, crease. tight crease. And I okay? like how they already have the score line because some people have difficulties with measuring. Mm -hmm. So that's very nice. And also, right. you can choose to do your card up and down mm -hmm. or side to side. Yeah. They don't really make it standard. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yep. Are they all purple? Oh, no, no look. No, no, no. So, so we, we have, have some purples and then we also have mm -hmm. some mints. Oh, I love mint. This is like actually, your pack. I know. <laughs> These are like my favorite. favorite colors. Wow. I actually recently just painted my room this color. Oh, uh, I know. So, I know. Yeah. And there's eight envelopes. So my eight guess. Eight envelopes. And there's eight pieces of paper. That's my guess. Except we folded one, of course. And that's fine. That's but, yeah. Good. So we got card stock. In there. <gasps> Let's look at the pretty paper. Oh, okay. Let me oh, feel no. this. Okay. Um, I'm okay with this paper. It doesn't feel feel like it's any higher quality than any other kind of paper that you might find. 
Um, as a matter of fact, in my opinion, and I've been making cards for a long time, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best quality paper I've ever felt or used, I'm going to go with a 5 on this. It's just okay. It's just average as yeah. far as how it feels. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's very, I like this print yep. mm -hmm. that's pretty, so and I'm okay with that. And next we have a oh, sprinkle like print. Confetti or, yeah, sprinkles. That's now cute. We also and it's just one-sided. So yeah, that's, they're all just one-sided. Mm -hmm. We got a purple polka dot, mm -hmm. um, a plain green, mm -hmm. and this is actually cardstock. Oh, okay. Oh, correct me if I'm yeah, wrong, but yes, is. this is cardstock. Mm -hmm. So this would be if you wanted to make a, a base. base. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have Pretty. some stripies. Pretty. That the green one was the only one that has been cardstock. Okay. And we have this. Nice. Ooh. Okay. And these were from <gasps> to this? make. Okay. Um, where's our yeah. book? Ah. Okay, there's there it our is. Book. So this one, I don't know if you can oh. tell, but it's got the glass covering, so it looks like a little tray. It's like so a that's cake what cover these are for. Yeah. or something. So that's what these Some are for. Some little plastic acetate clear. Mm -hmm. That's cute. So that's what these are for. Okay. I really that's love that. Really cute. Okay. Next, we have oh, another mm -hmm. piece of white cardstock, which okay. is nice to have. Uh -huh. Then we have these. These are like oh. the stands and just some stickers and some mm -hmm. candles that you can add to make your card just even mm -hmm. better. And they're just punch out. Yeah, they're just so punch out. They're little pieces. And there are two. Out. There, it's two. Oh. And these ones are more plain. Nice. They have some. So yeah, it's basically oh, the same. It's thing. double. You get yeah, double. It's double. So in nice. case you mess up on one, you got an extra. Yeah, or you just want to nice. make a bunch of them. Or you just want to make a bunch. Yeah. And then <gasps> these are two layers of cupcakes They're and really ice cute. creams. And some cute little fun punch outs. These and are also punch outs. Mm -hmm, and it's nice and thick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and they're, it's, they're nice. And there's just two layers of that. And so those are also nice. Plenty. I and like that. And then so, that's just what we put down for yeah. our background. Mm -hmm. I like everything. This is nice. I like these. The quality I like the of punch these outs because those can because sometimes it's hard. Like if you find it in a paper stock and then you have to like cut it out. Sometimes right. it, that can be very difficult. Yes. And I really Perfect. I love this <laughs> glass because yeah. that is so cute and that just added that just yep. adds like your own little touch. And so basically yes. you'd put it over the cupcake mm, or yeah. something. So I really like that. I think it adds it. a special touch. So all in all, I really, really like this kit. If we, so if I we, can't wait to get started yeah. on making cards. If we out had of it. to rate the kit overall like all, kit overall one out of ten, what would you rate it? Boy, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a nine, and the only reason why I didn't go with a ten mm -hmm. was just the quality of the paper itself. But I still rated it very high, mm -hmm. um, and I would definitely be happy to make a card, mm -hmm. cards using yeah. all of this stuff. I rated it an 8 just because of the quality, and some of them are kind of like falling out of the paper. Like, they don't, because in case if the package in got shipping. some, something happened in shipping, mm -hmm. some of these could have fallen out and then fallen and out of the cracks of the mm -hmm. packaging. The packaging was very nice. Yeah. But that is something to think about when you're making a card kit. Mm, that's right. And so that was the reason I gave it an 8 out of 10, just because mm -hmm. I kind of felt like that could have happened. I, I know it was all in plastic, but if there was a hole in the plastic, and then there somehow got a hole in the packaging, mm -hmm. and it somehow got loose, some of those could fall out, and then that would kind of... And then that could damage some of your cards because you wouldn't have that to make some of your cards. So that's the only reason I gave it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, and I'm wondering... Should they use maybe more of a bubble? Yeah, and maybe more of a something. bubble wrap because this was mm -hmm. like super thin. Yeah. I could totally see this ripping. Like and we this rip could have so bent, well, and it's bent. very bendable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just feel like because it is paper, it uh, could have bent uh -huh. or something could have happened, and these pop outs can pop out so right. easily. Right. And it would just be, and I would just be worried that something could fall out, and then that would mm -hmm. kind of ruin your experience because yeah. you wouldn't have that. So okay. that's my only. Then That's why I, I gave it an eight. Then I guess you have an eight, I have a nine overall. We rated it eight and a half. Yeah. And now oh, overall. Our next thing to do is to get busy and start making some, making cards, some cards using this really cute little kit. Yeah. And uh, Natalie, do you plan on trying to duplicate something I, from here? I think I might try to 
duplicate something with my own flair. Yeah, that's what I'll I do. I think I might, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, that so, sounds good. See you in the next All video. All right, so uh, that's what we're going to do. And for until the next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye. Bye.